Skin's glands are located around the urethra in women and are often referred to as the female prostate, the prostate in males, and the skin glands in females both have a common origin in the indif differentiated tissues of the genital system in the early stages of embryotic development. Both male and female embryos possess a gonado tissue that has the potential to develop into either testes or ovaries. The fate of this indifferentiation. Gardal tissue is determined by the presence or absence of certain genetic signals, particularly those associated with the presence of the Y chromosome. If the embryo carries a Y chromosome and other genes necessary for sexual differentiation, indicating a male, the undifferentiated GAD tissue develops into testes. The testes then release hormones, including testosterone, which directs the development of male reproductive organs. If the embryo does not have a Y chromosome, indicating a female, the gatal tissue develops into ovaries. The absence of certain hormones leads to the development of female reproduction of structures. The skin glands, also known as female prostate, are two small glands located on either side of the urethra. In the female reproductive system, they are found near the opening of the urethra at 5 and 7 o'clock, around the urethra orifice just inside the VA. Each skin's gland is about the size of a PE and is made up of arsen, which are small clusters of cells that produce the glandular fluid. The fluid is then drained through a single duct near up the ure. Opening the exact function of ski's glands is still being researched, but they are believed to play a role in both urinary and sexual health. They may secrete a fluid that helps lubricate the urethra during urination. This can help to prevent urinary tract infections, like the male prostate gland. Skin's glands also play a role in sexual health. When aroused the tissue around the skin, glands in the clitoris become swollen due to increased blood flow to the area. As the skin's glands become stimulated, they secrete mucus containing fluids which help with lubrication during vaginal intercourse. This can make sexual intercourse more pleasurable. The volume of fluid stored in the skin glands is variable and depends on several factors. Some women experience a forceful expulsion of fluid during orgasm referred to as female ejaculation. While the source of this fluid is debatable, skin's glands are considered a potential contributor, potentially adding to the expelled volume. Female ejaculation refers to about a teaspoon, 3 to 5 cc of fluid, expelled through the urethra that looks like watered-down fat-free milk, tastes sweet, and does that smell like urine. The main component is water which makes up the bulk of skin's gland secretions and provides a base for other components like sweat. Skin's gland fluid also contains electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and chloride, which help maintain the fluid's balance and electrical conductivity, prostate-specific antigen. PSA that found in male female fluid and is also present in the skin's gland fluids. Other factors are prosthetic acid, phosphatase, glucose, fructose, immunoglobulins which help defend against infections and mucus. While the presence of PSA in the fluid has led to the belief that the Esky's glands may be functionally similar to the male prostate, but yet they are not entirely analogous in terms of function and role in reproductive physiology.